fishing the Colorado. Fishing some hoppers, 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 hoppers. Looking for dry fly heat. This is Zeke from Trouts up here at our Frisco location sitting in front of our hopper bin. I'm with our regional store manager Eric uh, from Denver and we're talking about our five flies for September. What are we talking about? We're talking about hoppers. The next couple weeks, next few weeks, six weeks, we've got good dry fly fishing left to come. We've got hopper dropper fishing, double dries, single dries. So this is a great time to get out there and uh, go for some dry fly eats. Surprise, surprise, fly number one is the Chubby Chernobyl. Uh, I like it in tan. This time of year I'm using the 12. It's a little smaller size. Fish start getting selective. They're, they're not, they're kind of scared away from those bigger flies. At least that's what I see a lot of times, so I start using smaller ones. Great profile, floats like a cork. You can float bigger bugs under it than you think. Uh, and uh, you can see it. That's the number one thing. Great point fly for a double dries. 
uh, great single single dry, and of course, it'll fish triple trouble rigs all day long. What's a triple trouble rig? Triple trouble rig, three flies. Nice, nice heavy stone fly, and then your second uh, little third guy is gonna be smaller rainbow warrior, uh, hot belly pheasant tail. Um, tungsten? Tungsten, tungsten rainbow warrior. Uh, radiation betas. So our second fly today is the Royal PMX in a size six. Um, another great fly uh, with a great profile, really easy to see on the water. Um, does sit a little lower in the water um, film so that good for where your trout. Um, you can throw triple rigs with it. Um, and it was our best fly today. Fly number three was a brown hippie stomper in the size eight. Again, a very visible fly up on top, but it does sit a little lower. Gets those warrior trout uh, ability to come up and uh, be safe and thinking they can eat that fly. Floats all the triple rigs very well uh, and looks like a lot of different bugs. Um, definitely a great pot, uh, fly to have in your box. Also good for the high country this time of year. Also good for the high country this time of year. You didn't have to repeat that. I was just <laughs> chiming in. Try it again. I was chiming in as the back guy. <laughs> So fly number four today is the Amy's Ant. Uh, today we fished it in brown and olive in a size 12. Um, Amy's Ant's a great fly. It's got a lot of foam on it. Um, it's got some flash, um, so a great attractor. Uh, we fished it as a second fly in a tandem rig, um, which worked really well. Um, still, even in a size 12, can still put a couple of smaller nymphs underneath it or a single fly underneath it if you want. or use it as a first fly in your in your tandem rig. Shout out to Jack Dennis, right? Shout well, his daughter. Him. She designed it. She designed it, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, fly number five, guys, is the PMX in yellow in a size 12. Also, Royal's another one of my favorite colors in this fly. Uh, small fly obviously so this is usually my second fly in a double dry. You can throw this fly right up on the bank, do a little skate, skates really well. Fish want to just come out of that bank and eat this fly. Um, love this as a double dry setup. Um, can't say enough about it. Uh, you find a real picky fish too, I'll even pull those rubber legs and the fish want to eat it even more. So definitely uh, one of my favorite flies for uh, double dry rigs. Ooh, that was a little hot tip right there. So guys, that was Five Flies for September. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, come see us in the Frisco shop. Come see us in the Denver shop. Uh, hope to see you out on the water. And it's time to go get a beer and a burger. And get your hops. These flies are available online in Denver and in our Frisco store.